Hi, I'm John Biggs with TechCrunch. I'm here with Alex Lund from KNC Miner, and this is the second revision of the Jupiter Bitcoin Miner. This is a heavy-duty Bitcoin mining rig. We're going to take a closer look at it now. You brought us the Jupiter Miner. This is the fastest, one of the fastest uh, well, Bitcoin the, miners on the market right now. 5, it's the fastest. Box right here. Yes, it's the fastest Bitcoin miner on the market at the moment. Um, this is our second revision, mm -hmm. and uh, we've improved it on our initial revision. Our, our initial um, model was just to get it out into the market as soon as you possibly can to give our customers the greatest advantage of, 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 of the reward in Bitcoins. And to be completely clear, this is shipping now. Because I, every time I write about a Bitcoin miner, everybody yells at me that it's not shipping or it's never going to ship. You this, guys this actually is our have second. This out. is our second batch. Um, I know that there's been issues with other companies claiming to deliver, not delivering, delivering to people they shouldn't have. But um, you, can, you can look at the Bitcoin hash rate on the blockchain.info mm -hmm. and you'll see the effect that KNC Miner have had on that hash rate since they started delivering. So as soon as one of these goes up, the hash rate goes In up considerably? Yeah, uh, well, not one individually considerably, but the cumulative effect of all the, 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 the orders that we had. And we, we actually limited our orders, but the, the step to 28 nanometers um, has had a considerable effect on the hash rate. It's tripled it. So assume that we're Bitcoin newbies, we don't know anything about mining. What is this box doing? What this box is doing is, um, in essence, the colloquial term mining is, uh, is processing, verifying, and securing the transactions that take place in the Bitcoin network. There is a reward of Bitcoins for solving these complex algorithms, which are basically bundles of transactions mm -hmm. as they take place. And that reward is Bitcoins themselves. Now, you can either have a miner mining on its own, trying to compete against everybody else, which would be quite hard unless you had a considerable amount of hardware and quite a few miners, or you can um, collectively pool together and share the rewards amongst each other. At the moment, the reward for solving a block is 25 coins. In, in the beginning, it was 50. Every four years, it halves. Okay. And the, each one of these is a specifically designed ASIC uh, that was designed by a KNC miner and you have these huge heat sinks and things to maintain the... the, the Power in is heat out, and all these chips have to do is, is, is mine the Bitcoin protocol. The, um, originally, you had graphics cards and you had uh, CPUs, the brains of your computers, and they're very good at solving many mathematical calculations all at once, whereas this only has to do one thing very, very well. This is an application-specific integrated circuit, and this just mines Bitcoins. And this is a gargantuan package for a chip, We've got four dies in there. We've got about 7,500 balls, the connections on, on the back of the chip. And 50 of those are for the, the, the Bitcoin protocol itself. They handle the I.O. And the rest is just pure power. So power, power in is heat out. We wanted to be first to market, so we overdesigned everything we possibly could around the board itself so that when we actually had the chip in hand, we could place it onto the board and do something that no one else has really ever done. Basically, <laughs> provide a working product in just over 24 hours. Mm -hmm. um, that is normally measured in months to, to, to years. How much is this thing? This is $5,000 or was $5,000. We're not selling them anymore. They okay. sold out as soon as the, the first batch was proven. Um, they just sold out straight away. And how much can you feasibly make per day, per month, per week? Uh, Depending on the difficulty? This particular miner hashes at around 650 giga hash a second mm -hmm. uh, using a static calculator which basically takes the, the difficulty into account for today. Um, that's around about 0 0.46 or 0 0.48 bitcoins a day. Mm -hmm. um, the, the price of bitcoin varies from day to day, sure, as I'm sure, sure you're aware. Sure, sure. So, uh, but as more and more people get involved, the difficulty becomes harder, the proportional share lowers. So this is part of the reason why we're not selling anymore, because we wanted to give our customers the greatest chance of return. Uh, it's not an investment. We're not sharing, we're not claiming to be uh, selling an investment. We're, we're selling hardware, and the pricing was based on recovering non-recurring engineering costs. We're stepping down to 20 nanometers. Um, we should be doing this before Apple does it um, in the first quarter or second quarter of next year. We opened for orders to purely our own customers in the beginning because we want to give them again they supported us in the beginning so they get they get first chance of refusal um, that's meant to be delivered quarter, first quarter second quarter that will have a significant impact on, on the hash rate for sure but you know that's 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 quite some time in the distance so I'd say 
I'd say these um, these have got a long. A lot, I mean, there are some calculators out there that, that basically exponentially compound the hash rate mm -hmm. month on month, uh, and creating these unfeasible scenarios, which basically mean that we would have to double our delivery capacity month on month on month, which is impossible for us to do. Sure. So I'd ignore those, but um, obviously, as more people get involved, the share is evenly distributed amongst those people. Um, I think you've got. I. I I don't. I mean, you've got months, <laughs> if not, a, you know, a good year. All right, I, I hope. I think I've uh, <laughs> got into a uh, hedge maze. This is actually surprisingly beautiful. Thank you for bringing this all the way out from uh, from Stockholm. You're very welcome. It's a uh, it's it's a beautiful machine. I love the I love the concept of someone making their own hardware for one specific task, and this is just a massive just powerhouse. We we had a lot of fun with 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 this, with, with making this. Um, it was a labor of love. The the engineers behind this are real <laughs> real geeky engineers, and uh, they're more interested in, 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 in creation. I mean, the, the guy who, Marcus Erlinson, who's the, who's the chief engineer behind this, he's the one who deserves the majority of the credit, although he has a fantastic team that equally deserve credit. Mm -hmm. And um, he, I mean, if he's not making this, he's making houses. He's built three of his own. He just does not stop. Right. Uh, we have a data center which hosts some people's machines, and rather than sort of outsource uh, other people to, to make them for them, the <laughs> Marcus, Sam, and Andreas, and then the rest of the guys built it by hand. Like literally, that was their time off from from actually sort of mm -hmm. focusing on the business side and and making sure that all th all these all the rest of the design sort of ran smoothly. They needed to unwind, so they did some physical work. They grafters, and uh, there's there's um there's a few little Easter eggs on here. They do know about this. The original concept Mars had a uh, a slogan on it, which said. Um, Bitcoins makes the world go around, and it's a play on the Liza Minnelli uh, song "Money makes the money makes the world go round." Unfortunately, the Swedes <laughs> messed up the, uh, the the grammar. So, um, as much as that's got a very entertaining story to it, the uh, they weren't allowed to to basically put a, a slogan on 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 Jupiter. So there was a competition for the community to come up with a catchy phrase, and. If you understand Bitcoin, it's, it's, it's a bit of a geeky sort of mm -hmm. um, joke. But the uh, the whole world, only one block apart, was the, was the winning phrase. So in the States, obviously, sure, separated sure, block sure. after block after block. That's the all measure of distance. And uh, in, in, in Bitcoin, each each block solved is it's the reward in Bitcoins. So that was the clear winner. It, was, it, was, it, it raised the most smiles. There is, there is another Easter egg, which I'm waiting for people to... Um, I will have to reveal if they don't work it out for themselves. But uh, they need to look around the board a little bit more closely. All right. Thank you very much, Alex. This has been amazing. It's great to walk, be able to walk through this thing, see it firsthand as well. And I'm sure a lot of our uh, readers have been wanting to see what this thing looks like inside. So it's, uh, it's great that you could come out. You're welcome. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.